The shop started in 1906. We used to say it beats working, that's what we used to say. My mum and dad would say I wasted most of my life in record shops. I used to go there every Saturday morning as soon as I got my pocket money. They became, you know, meeting places almost like a, you know, community centres really. My first sale was probably about 60 years ago. Working in Select Disc at that time in Nottingham meant that you were almost a sort of local celebrity. I'm the archetypal kid that used to save up his pocket money and go to Oldham at a weekend, order the record that you were going to get. I just remember it being like an ocean of, of organised old records. We used to have my lunch out on a Saturday sitting in the listening booth. I was hooked. Uh, Spillers is famed for being the oldest record shop in the world. And I've always walked in here looking for one thing and immediately when I walk through the door my brain turns to mush. Literally going at midday and come out at closing time, and just it was like an education in music. You know, if you, if you look back at the history of why record stores start to decline, it was death by a hundred cuts. Record labels started to change, that the relationship between artists and record labels changed, and the relationship between record labels and the consumer changed. On Monday morning you come, you get your master bags out, you phone the five distributors and you get the stuff on Tuesday and then you sell it for the rest of the week. Well, it's not like that anymore. You need a physical record shop full of people who are going to help you and guide you. People do tend to forget that their local record shops need their patronage to actually survive. I think the people who are passionate about music really like the fact that there's independent record shops with people in there who know what they're talking about. Nothing beats the buzz of meeting somebody face to face across the counter and saying, hey, have you heard this? We look out for each other. We all know there's not many of us left. Will we just disappear into the crack in the wall or something? Like a resource, I think, for people. It's like li a library for your ears and your mind, you know. Will we become a novelty shop and people will come and say, oh, remember when they used to buy records? You get a mad variety of stuff. You get the vinyl that you just can't find anywhere else for vinyl fans. There's another yeah. version of another well-known track, Staying Alive. <laughs> Could make your ears bleed, couldn't it? Shops like these, and thank God, you know, there's still some around where you can come and pick stuff out that you might not even heard of or thought of before. There's so much focus on independent stores at the moment, so much interest. That doesn't come from nowhere. You know, people actually do want somewhere that they can go and find something that they didn't know they wanted. Look at him. I'll be playing my record player up in the sky. I'm going to get you stuffed and put you in the corner. <laughs>